Hi! Welcome back to Camp High Hopes. I'm Tori, and today I'm going to be showing you a cool science experiment. This isn't it. Um, this science experiment does involve flammable objects and some fire, so I'm going to ask you guys to not try this at home. This video is just for you guys to watch and enjoy the cool chemical reaction that is going to happen. So a little bit on how this experiment works. Fire needs two things to burn. It needs oxygen and something combustible. The something combustible that we used was alcohol. The chemical structure of alcohol makes it extremely flammable, which means it catches fire easily. This is because the structure of alcohol makes it very easy for the alcohol to transition from a liquid to a gas. Scientists would say that alcohol has a low vapor pressure. In other words, a low pressure against turning into a vapor. When you burn alcohol, you are actually burning the vapor form rather than the liquid. When exposed to a flame, that vapor very easily ignites into a fire. So when I touched the flame to the hole in the jar, the vapor at the top ignites and a chain reaction occurs where all the alcohol residue lining the inside of the jar catches fire. Then when the oxygen in the jar is all used up, the flame can no longer maintain itself and it goes out. Because if you're missing one of the two things needed for a fire to burn, the fire will not burn. That was so cool. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'm going to ask you not to do this at home. This video is just for your viewing pleasure. Besides, this experiment looks so much better on camera because I can slow it down and play it in slow mo so you can see the whole reaction happening instead of it being super fast. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.